Hey everyone, this is Conjurix Water here, and today we've got a pretty special water here. It's called Trace Alkaline Spring Water, and it's from Pristine, British Columbia. Yeah. Um, it doesn't say where in British Columbia, or at least I haven't seen where it says it's from in British Columbia. Oh, never mind. It says it's from uh, Bridesville in British Columbia. Um, and so on the label it says that it has, oh, that's the French side, uh, that it's uh, revitalizing water. It has a 7.7 .7 pH. It has dissolved mineral salts, 140 ppm. Don't know what that means, but I'm just going to assume that's a good thing. Revitalize your performance. Pure hydration to revitalize your day every day. What does it mean by revitalize? Is that even a real word? Yeah, I know that's a real word, but it doesn't sound like it means anything. It just, I'm pretty sure that's just marketing. Um, it shows the pH scale here, 7.7. Uh, I don't, again, I don't have a pH test with me, but at some point I'll get one for these water reviews. Um, so it says that it has, um, dissolved minerals, but on the nutrition facts, it shows literally nothing. Like, it's 0% of everything. No calories, no fat, no carb, no carbs, no protein, no, no fats at all, cholesterol, sodium, fiber, sugar, um, nothing. It also says there's no calcium, which is... Something that I'm used to in water having calcium, 2 or 4%. But this one has literally nothing in terms of nutrition facts. The ingredients are literally just oxygenated alkaline spring water. So, um, with that information, I, I would assume that this is probably one of the purest waters you can find. Um, it's in a 500 milliliter bottle, so I can chug this. Um, not that I wouldn't be able to if it wasn't, but you know, whatever. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try this quickly. Uh, it says, serve chilled. It's... It's like glue cold right now, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Mmm. Love the sound of that fresh cracking open the lid of a water bottle. So one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is there's kind of a little note of sweetness to it. I'm not sure why, but it's not like life ruining or anything. It doesn't really affect the goodness of the water, which by the way, I should probably mention, it kind of uh, gives my mouth, my tongue, um, I said in my previous review that the Icelandic glacial spring water um, left my mouth, like, my tongue still wet, while the Aquapana left it, like, really dry, like, I hadn't even drank it, and, uh, it, this is, like, in between that, it's a bit weird, like, I, like, not bad, but, like, it's just interesting that this is, like, the in-between water, but, between those two, but it's still a good water, I like it quite a bit. But yeah, it's super pure. It does have, you, it's noticeable. Like on the roof of my tongue, the sweet aftertaste, you can definitely feel, like taste that. But it's a pretty good water. Um, I didn't have anything to compare this with. So this isn't a comparison. This is just really a review of this water. But um, yeah, it's a good water. Super easy going down the throat. I don't have any issues with that. Very easy to drink. It's a pr and it is a very clean water, so my suspicion was right that it having no nutrition facts actually helps a lot with the taste. Um, so yeah, this is a thumbs up for me. And I, I recommend you grab this water, because it's quite good. Um, it was one forty nine at the grocery store Canadian, so probably a little less American, even though you might not find this in American grocery stores, because, uh, you know... It's a BC water, it's a Can Canadian water, but it's good. If you can find it, I'd suggest you try it out because it's good. It'll revitalize your performance and revitalize your entire day, apparently. Um, whatever that means. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching.